Hello everybody. These questions that you have here are um, a part of the 11 plus mixed workout um, CEM tests and they are a combination of non-verbal reasoning and maths. So you should be able to finish this within 10 minutes or at least that's the um, that's the objective. So let's get started. So which of these options best fits in place of the missing square in the grid? So we have this as a missing square and which of these should fit in. So we can see that if you look at these lines, it, now this will be an extension. So this line should uh, be a symmetrical line, cutting the square in half. So it will go from left to right. So which means that uh, this cannot be an option and um, this cannot be an option so b and e are out next we have to put in this little circle so that is going to be if you look at the other circles where they are placed so they're at the corner so if they are at the top left so they come bottom left so the ones in the middle stay in the middle so this one is bottom right so corner right, so it's bottom right. So it's going to be up. I think it's going to go um, here. It's going to be up corner. So it will be at the corner, top corner to the right. So it will remain to the right, but the position will change from the bottom to the top. Okay, so the answer is going to be A. So one A is my answer. The next one is um, we have to continue with the pattern. So if I just do with the continue with the pattern, so it will be be coming down and then go up. However, it's not really that going down as it is in the top squares. So it can be. So this is this is not an option. So first I do the ones I cancel out the ones which are not an option. This may be an option. Uh, this may be an option. And so this is not an option because it should be this first. So this is not an option. And neither is this this is okay so no no a b and e are not options now which one of it will it be c or d so we are going to look at these blobs here now so if you have black and gray so they are like gray white black gray so then it's likely the gray is moving so gray has to be down or down or up so gray has to will be one here one blob here, one blob here. The one at the top is likely to be the gray one because gray is moving and the one at the bottom. So if gray is going to be the top one, it's most gray or is it? No, 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 no. Um, no. So what about the black? So the black and gray. So I think, yeah, the white, black, so who goes at the top? White, black. It's so white is not at the top for any of these. Okay, so white is both at the bottom. Yeah, and it's likely to be. Is it going to be gray or is it going to be black? So we've got two grays already. So two, it's going to be the likely thing is going to be white black so it is going to be the black one black at the bottom black at the top gray has been taken both places okay so the right way to think about it see look the gray blob has taken both places the bottom and the top the black has taken the bottom place so it has to be the top for now the white has taken the top place it has to come to the bottom now so this is going to be white this is going to be black and that comes with answer d so this is my answer d okay so the next one three is which one will come in this um, this square 
So that is going to be, if you look at the shapes of these um, star-shaped things, one has three vertices, one has five vertices and four vertices. So each grid, each grid should have, or each row should have all of the three. It should have one five, one with five vertices, one with three vertices, and one with four vertices. So you have one with five here, you have one with four here. You are most likely to have a three here. So your answer could be this, it could be this, or this, or this. This cannot be an answer. So the next, now you have to look at the patterns inside. So they are either this in a going vertically up or horizontal or slanting. They are more likely to be slanting, which will make B my answer. Okay, so B is the correct answer. These are not the correct answers. A, C is not correct, okay? So 3B is the answer. So you notice that sometimes um, it's easier to spot which one it, it will be, and sometimes it's a bit, it, it takes a bit of time. Okay, so the next one is which work out which 3D figure in the gray box has been rotated to make the new 3D figure. So we have this figure here, if you look at four. Now you have to think that this figure I'm holding in my hand and I'm moving it, okay? So I'm rotating it, they're saying, it's not like shaking it, it's rotating. So um, rotating means you think of a rotation, okay? Um, and then uh, where should the, where would you see this figure again? In four, you will see, now the one way to look for is you have two, you have the three ends, like you have one going to the right, one going to the left, and one moving back. So if you think of another another one set of blocks, which is going, one arm going right, one arm going left, and the other arm going forward, or you can say going backward, which of it is, is that? It's not A, because you don't really have the arms going right and left, okay? Uh, you have them, no, it's not B, is not C, is it E, uh, no, not really, not really, it's the middle, it's going from the middle, you can see that, so the most likely it's not B, it's not E, it, it can be D, but however, why it's not D is because it's going from the middle, if you see this arm, see this arm or see this block, whatever you want to call it, it's going out from the middle. So there's nothing going out from the middle, it's just the sides, okay? And it's not going right and left, not directly opposite. Um, yeah, it's going sideways and back. So um, I think the most correct is F. So F is my answer. Okay, so for F. The next one, five, again, it is likely to be, if you look at the straight block, then one goes up and the other is in that same direction as it's going up. So this look, so I'm looking for something that's, if I move this, I should have something up going up and going going in a going in a forward direction so it's most likely to be c it's most likely to be c why is it most likely to be c because you see the same movement now if you turn this rotate it if you are rotating it giving it half a turn you will have, yes, um, not quite, no. So, um, but yeah. So this is likely to be the uh, answer. So this is straight, this goes up and this goes up. So 
one two three so that's um, that is the the answer five C next for six for six your answer is L and then going up L and then going up it's likely to be B so B is my answer then seven is seven is going in straight and down and sideways one down one sideways or one up one sideways it is likely to be d seven is d one sideways so this is very clear to spot that d and seven is d okay the next one is testing the math skills so I have Cynthia grow six sunflowers their heights are given what is the difference in height between the shortest and the tallest sunflower so the shortest one is 74 the tallest one is 89 and the difference is 15 centimeter so 8 is D okay some fish some prices at a fish and chip shop are be given below how much does it cost for a fish a sausage and two portions of chips so one fish will cost me three pound fifty one sausage will cost me two point two and two portions of chips will cost me one point three times two that's two point six if i add them up i get zero five two seven and six thirteen three one three four two six two eight so i get eight point three oh the line m is shown on the coordinate grid below line m is drawn and goes through points a and b at what coordinates do lines l and m meet circle the correct option so a b the best way to do it is to join them and this is where it's, it is the intersecting. So that is the 5. And this line is also 5. So it's going to be C, 5, 5. Next question is 5, 5. So Rupal goes on a holiday to France and returns with 80 euro. At this time, the exchange rate is 1 euro equals pound 1.25. How much does Rupal get in pounds? So all we have to do here is multiply 80 and 1.25 times 80. So that's 40, 0 and 4, 96 and 400. So two decimal points, so it's going to be pound 100, okay? Uh, next one, Danny makes a cuboid, following cuboid from a net. Work out the volume of the cuboid is 3 times 3 times 6. 9 times 6 is 54. The next one is what is the area of the net? Area is twice, three times six plus twice, three times three, nine plus twice, again, six times three, three times three, six times three, three times six. Okay, so that is going to be twice, 18 plus nine plus 18. So 36 yeah area of the uh, yeah so we have to do the surface area so that is 36 plus 9 36 plus 9 is 45 2 times 45 that is 90 okay the next one, 7x plus 49 is 98. What is x? x equals 98 minus 49 divided by 7 is 
49 divided by 7 that is 7 so x is 7 that is b okay so that completes this session hopefully it was helpful it gave you an idea of the questions and now you can go about working them out thank you for your time bye